Hello and what's up guys? I got this old inverter welding machine for free. It has an interesting story so please stay tuned. When I opened the unit, I immediately noticed this extra cooling fan. And as you can see, the previous owner connected the extra fan wires in parallel to the existing cooling fan. By the way, the owner of this machine is a car mechanic. He must have thought that adding a fan in front of the machine is a good idea, just like the radiator of the car with a fan in the front grill. Before even plugging this unit into the wall outlet, let us check the main components which are the IGBTs and the fast recovery output diodes first. I checked the diodes and we are getting the diode voltage when the black test lead is on the cathode and open lead when reversed. So we can confirm that the diodes are not shorted and the diodes are good. Next, I check the IGBTs. This time we are getting the forward bias diode voltage between the emitter and collector leads. And also open lead or very high resistance between the gate and collector. So we can confirm that the IGBTs are not shorted and they are probably good as well. When I plug and turn on this inverter welding machine, the small extra fan works, but the welding machine has no output voltage. I try to disconnect the power to the small fan and now there is output voltage. The output does not look stable and a bit too high, uh, but we will look into that later. Now I'll show you what happens when we connect the additional small fan. You can see that the output shut down. So the main problem with this unit is the owner himself. The extra fan cause the inverter welding machine to malfunction. If we look closely at the additional fan, we can see that this is using 12 volts input. The fan in the inverter welding machine is 24 volts. Connecting the additional fan drops the DC voltage on the auxiliary power supply circuit, causing all the other parts of the board to not get correct supply voltage. The correct output DC voltage of the auxiliary power supply for this machine are approximately 24 and 15 volts. 15 volts is the power supply to the PMW to the PWM controller and if this part does not get the correct supply voltage, the inverter welding machine will not work and so there is no output. After removing the extra fan, the welding machine seems to work, but the OCV or the open circuit voltage is about 70 volts, which is a bit too high. I will probe the output side with an oscilloscope and show you what's wrong. 
I put the two probes of the oscilloscope to the anode of the two fast recovery diode, as shown, and we can see the AC output just before rectification. This is the correct waveform. Next, I move one of the probes to the cathode of the fast recovery diode. And we can see this output waveform has an AC component su superimposed to the DC level. This condition makes welding unstable. I replace these two high voltage capacitors which are connected to the fast recovery diodes. And that fixed the problem. Now you can see that the output is a clean DC. It's just a straight line and no AC component, just like it should be. And now this unit is ready for actual test. But before that, I dismantled it completely and powder coated the case. You can see more about that in this video. So please check it out. I tested welding with this unit and it now works perfectly with the different output current settings. And there you go guys, I repaired and refurbished this unit making it look and works just like new. I hope you like and learn something with my videos. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hope you check out my other videos as well. Thank you very much and God bless you all.